Hello, my friends. Welcome to the following episode of our watercolor adventure. Road trips are my preferred way to discover the world. Over the past 10 years, I travel continuously, collecting thousands of kilometers, thousands of new impressions. One of my latest trips I have made in the summer autumn of 2020. I was traveling from France to Moldova, crossing many picturesque countries, and one of them is Switzerland. There is no doubt that Switzerland offers plenty of opportunities for landscape painters. However, plein air painting in the mountains may be completely unpredictable. One state of nature might be suddenly replaced by another. You may start to paint in sunny weather and end up running away from the rain. Despite all this, we can observe some fantastic nature metamorphosis and diversity of ambiences happening in a short period of time. Nevertheless, one of the artist's tasks is to capture these particular moments as a collective image of nature. Sketching or painting on location is very important in this case. An artist subconsciously observes visual information 360 degrees around himself and also throughout the time he spends on site. Faulenzi is a small Swiss village located on Lake Tuna, an attractive place where the mountains are rising between lakes and touching the sky. It's so easy to get inspired by this kind of scenery. Thus, I have decided to make a quick painting in my sketchbook. As follows, I can share with you my compositional reflections and technical approach to this subject. Let's back to the studio and have a look at our final sketch done on location. Despite the perfect composition already made by nature, I would like to analyze it from the compositional standpoint. In addition, I have noticed that this architectural phrase perfectly fits into a certain movement. Now it's time to move on to the final painting. Color-wise, I'm using warm green, for example olive green, maintaining the foreground warmer and lighter than the background. Thus, we continue the gradient of color temperature from top to bottom, from cold to warm. Along with that, all these visual means should interact with the large shapes made previously and be in the context of established rhythms and movements. Thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next episodes.